होगा Objective of this project is used to build IoT based smart fan using Node MCU ESP8266 and Link App. And nowadays technology is advancing and houses are getting smarter. Modern houses are usually shifted conventional switches to some kind of IoT based control system. So this project is stepped towards reducing human efforts and make their home as a smart home. Now I am going to explain you about the circuit diagram of the project. Here you can see the circuit connections. All the connections I am going to explain step by step by breaking them into multiple categories. So first we are going to explain about the connection circuit of the Nord MCU ESP8266 and DHT11 sensor. Now connect the Nord MCU ground pin to DHT11 ground pin. Then connect Nord MCU D5 pin or data pin to DHT11 data pin. Then connect Nord MCU 3V3 pin to DHT11 VCC pin. So now we have connect the Nord MCU to DHT11 sensor. Now let's connect the setup to the 5 volts relay module. Now connect the Nord MCU ground pin to relay ground pin. Then connect the Nord MCU V in pin to relay IN1 pin or any other input pin. And at last Nord MCU D2 pin to relay VCC pin. So now we have connected the Nord MCU DHT11 and the relay 5 volts module. Now we are going to connect the setup to the 12 volts battery and 12 volts DC fan. Connect the NVO normally open pin of the relay with the negative wire of the DC fan. Then connect the NC normally close pin of the D relay with the positive of the 12 volts battery. And last connect the red wire or positive wire of the 12 volts DC fan with the negative of the battery. So now we have connected the connected all the connections successfully just like the block or circuit diagram. Now we can run the code and can watch the project in action. Hi, I'm Pawan and I'm going to explain you all about the installation of Blink App which we will use it to connect the Node MCU ESP8266 module to display the temperature and humidity readings from the DHT11 sensor. Now to do this, we are going to install and set up the official Blink app from Play Store in our device. So just follow my steps for this installation because it is a bit complicated to set up the Blink app at first and after that you can set up in your own. So let's get started. Now open your Play Store and search for the Blink app. Install the Blink Legacy app because it is easy to set up from the latest version of the app. And open the app and it will ask you for the login using Facebook only. So make sure you have a Facebook account. And if not, make one for the sake of this app. And just ignore the latest update notification in the end of the app, it still have lots of bugs. After the successful login, you will be provided an auth token to your registered email address with your Facebook account. Just copy the auth token and paste it in your code. After that, open the Blink app and create new project by clicking on new project section. Input your project name inside the new project field. After that, inside the hardware model, select Node MCU from the section and set Wi-Fi as connection type, your project will be created. Inside the project, you need to create some widgets to display the readings from the sensor. So click on add button to add widgets, search for superchat widget and add it in your project. Inside the superchat settings, set the data streams for temperature and humidity readings as virtual pins V1 and V2 respectively. Now add two gauge widgets, one for temperature and the another for humidity readings. Now inside the temperature gauge set the input value virtual pin V1. You can change the color as you wish. Coming back to the humidity gauge set the input value to V2 virtual pin and can change its color as well. Now add numeric input widget, set the threshold value to V3 virtual pin. Now add the final widget as LED widget and set the pin to V0 virtual pin. This pin will be turned on after temperature exceeds the threshold value. After all the configuration and setup of the app, 
the final app will look like this. Your Blink app will be ready to use. Hey there, this is Rishi. Now I'm going to explain you about the source code of this project. So before going to the source code of this project, we need to install a few libraries or dependencies for our components. So first of all, we need to install ESP8266 library. So to do that, we need to go to the file tab in our Arduino ID. Then there, we need to go to preferences and then inside the additional boards manager field, we need to, we need to copy these two links. Don't worry, this doc, this will be these links will be provided inside documentation that will be provided under the description of this video. So check out that. And now after copying that, paste it in the addition boards manager field and then press OK. After that, go to tools tab and then board and then boards manager. Then after that, you need to search for ESP8266 and you need to install that library, that community inside our Arduino ID. Then wait a few seconds to install, then it will be installed successfully. So now we need to install node MCU libraries. So to do that, we need to again go to preferences tab and again inside the additional board manager URL, we need to copy the link that is provided inside the description of the video so after copying that paste it inside the additional board manager url part and again we need to press ok then install esp8266 boards after complete installation you will see the install label on esp8266 boards after these two steps you can see esp8266 boards such as node mcu in your Arduino ID boards list and you can choose your desired board to upload the code and then we need to install another library called dht11 or dht22 module so to do that we need to go to sketch and then include library and then after managing libraries then it should open a pop-up box then search for dht there you need to install ada fruit unified sensor library and then again after installing that restart your arduino id so these three modules will be installed successfully your arduino id after that we need to install blink app library so to do that we need to just go to the manage library section and then search for blink and then there you can install that library so now all the libraries for the components will be installed in your laptop so let's get back to the code so here you can see the first line that is hash include esp826 wifi.h so this means that we have imported all the libraries that are included with esp826 library after that we can see the second line include blink simple esp826.h this means that this imports all the libraries all the operations that are required for the blink app to run inside the code and then in the third line you can see dht.h so this also imports all the functions and operations that are related to the dht11 or dh 22 sensor now next comes to auth ssid and password so the auth token will be sent to the email that is registered with your blink app then you can copy that auth token and then you can paste it here and then ssid means your wi-fi network name so in my case it's Pavan and the password of the Wi-Fi is Pavan123. This variable will initialize the readings that will be sent by the DHT sensor and uh, those readings will be the readings of humidity. And then next comes to temp DHT. This variable will store the readings of the temperature that will be sent by the DHT sensor. Next comes to val. This is the threshold value. That means if the temperature will cross this val value that will be provided in our Blink app, we can set that temperature uh, up to anything up to our, our it's up it's upon our choice turned on. Now inside the setup function, we can see serial dot begin double one five two double zero. This means that this is the port number that will be required for Blink app to run inside our Arduino ID. Then we need to begin the DHT sensor. So for that, this is the line. And then in the next line, we need to assign our auth, SSID and password to the blink. So this line indicates that it calls the auth, SSID and password inside the blink app. Next comes to blink write function. Inside this function, the threshold value will be provided to the val variable. And that threshold value will be given inside the blink app as much as we want. And then comes to loop function. Inside the loop function, you can see there's a blink dot run method so what it does is it runs the blink app from inside the arduino id then you can see delay 2000 so inside this this means that it will wait for a few seconds after that it will read the values coming from the dht sensor you can see this these two lines hum dht that means reading humidity and temperature dht that means reading temperature so dht dot read humidity is a method that is provided inside the dht 11 libraries so this what it does is it copies the values that are coming from the dht sensor and it initializes the values to the variable hum dht and same as the temperature it captures the values from the temperature of the dht sensor and then it 
initializes the values to the temp dht variable so now comes the logic part so if val is greater than temp dht digital write fan pin i it means that if the temperature value will be less than threshold value here threshold value is represented by val okay so now if the temperature is less than the val or threshold value then the fan will be turned off else digital write fan pin low fan dot on this means that if the temperature value will be greater than val or threshold value then the fan will be turned on and that's what our project is this line indicates that it will write the values to the v1 pin that means virtual pin of the blink iot app to the send temperature dht variable so these variables will be will send the values to v1 pin where we will configure the blink app to a certain particular button then it will send the values to the v1 pin or temperature pin next comes to hum dht variable what it does it will write that means blink dot virtual write right so it will write the values that are coming from the dht sensor to the v2 pin of the blink app so now that's it that's all about the source code Hi, I am Sai Kumar and I am going to explain you the working and output of this project. Here we can see the components for this project. Now I am going to assemble all the components and I will explain the working as well. So let me connect everything according to the block diagram. Now we can see everything is connected. Now we will run the code. We can see the temperature and humidity is printing in the serial monitor. Now let's raise the temperature. We can see the temperature is increasing in the serial monitor as well as in blink cap. Now I will increase the temperature up to 33 degree. Now we can see the fan starts running. And then again after cooling down the temperature, the fan will stop running. That's it. Thank you.